ChatGPT and the Chinese Room. I was just reading the sci-fi novel Blindside by Peter Watts when I came across a term I had not heard before referring to an AI system, the so-called Chinese Room argument. The Chinese Room argument is a thought experiment proposed by American philosopher John Searle to illustrate the limitations of artificial intelligence systems that rely solely on symbolic manipulation, such as rule-based systems and certain types of chatbots. The argument goes as follows. Imagine there is a person who does not understand Chinese, but is locked in a room with a book of instructions written in English. These instructions enable the person to take input in Chinese, apply certain rules and manipulations to the symbols, and produce output in Chinese that appears to be intelligible to a Chinese speaker. However, the person in the room does not understand Chinese and is simply following a set of rules, much like a computer program. Thus, Cyril argues that even if the output appears to be intelligent, the system as a whole does not actually understand Chinese. Similarly, chatbots like ChatGPT rely on the manipulation of symbols and patterns in order to generate responses to user input, and are trained with a large language model. A large language model, LLM, is a type of deep learning algorithm that uses neural networks with billions of parameters to process and understand language. It is trained in large amounts of unlabeled text using self-supervised learning and can recognize, summarize, translate, predict, and generate text and other language-based outputs. While these systems are capable of producing responses that may seem intelligent, they do not truly understand the meaning of the input or the output. Like the person in the Chinese room, chatbots are simply following a set of rules and manipulating symbols without truly comprehending the meaning of the language they are processing. This gives some insight into the so-called hallucinations that current chatbots can come up with, when they sometimes blithely spout incorrect or sometimes nonsensical responses. It's important to note that there are many different types of AI systems, and not all of them rely solely on symbolic manipulation. Machine learning modules like GPT-3 and GPT-4, which ChatGPT is based on, are capable of learning patterns and relationships from large amounts of data and can generate responses that are more nuanced and contextually appropriate than rule-based systems. However, even these systems still lack true understanding of language and are ultimately limited by the data they are trained on and the algorithms that govern their behavior. They are not yet thinking machines in the way that we are thinking beings, even though they appear to pass the Turing test, which involves a human evaluator judging natural language conversations between a human and a machine, and determining whether the machine's answers resemble those a human being would give. In other words, when you talk with the box, does it seem like there's a little person inside talking back to you? Thank you for watching, and check out the links in the description below.